We are gonna drive this tuk tuk all the way across Pakistan for the next nine days. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Pakistan, country number 73 on the road to 100. We're driving this tuk-tuk all the way to the Chinese border. Let's get started. Oh, the Pakistan flag looks awesome! Oh, no way. So right now we're just getting a feel for it. So you have to start at one? Of course, usually you go nowhere. So neither Jordan, myself or Ricardo, the one filming the video, has ever driven a tuk-tuk before. And Jordan's never even driven manual. So wow, we're in for a treat. You mind, huh? Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are off to quite the start. Only uphill from here. And then a few news channels caught word of what we were doing and decided to interview us for the local channels. But then things really got out of control because news channels just kept showing up. However, after about an hour of this, we were able to hit the open road. Regardless of the chaos, we continued on driving. Oh my word. So stressed. <laughs> how was that? Because I'm here in the middle of Pakistan trying to learn how to drive manual whilst there's real life GT happening, people are walking everywhere, chickens are flying, and freaking <laughs> <laughs> trucks are cutting me off. Wow. Local McDonald's. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can I have a s small fry? That's it, sir. Yeah, that's it. Hi. Hello. So after checking off this bucket list item of taking you. a tuk tuk through McDonald's drive through, we were back on the road again. Alright, so during that last stop, we had the police pull us over and we're like, oh no, there's three guns, five guys. And sure enough, they just wanted to film us. Can we get a selfie? Interview. Yeah, ask <laughs> selfies, take pictures. And we did a little interview to say, like, tell us. Pakistan's very beautiful. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's awesome here. <laughs> All right, for the last little while, we've had a police escort. I don't know what's happening. Oh, wow, you get presented flowers? You know what this? Oh. No, uh, <laughs> it turns out the police were extremely nice and wanted to give us a big warm welcome to make sure we felt right at home here in Pakistan. All right, that officially ends our journey for day one. That was a super hectic day. So much driving, crazy traffic. In Abbottabad, the place where Bin Laden was captured and killed, that city is so busy and hectic. There's one main road that we drove down and it was just wild. And then probably five minutes before we ended up at our hotel right here, a, some locals were, I think they're trying to impress us, and they swung out in front of our tuk-tuk and then speed wobbled and it toppled over, crashed, and they just dragged across the pavement with their bike on top of them. And I luckily just was able to like swing out of the way so they didn't run over them. Oh my gosh, hurry, it was pounding, it was crazy. But now we're finally in the mountains. This is gonna be the good part. See ya tomorrow. on this trip is play cricket with the locals. I found a match going on. My name is Mark. What's your name? Uh, Hamza. Hamza. Nice to meet you. Let's play. Are you... So it turns out Hamza's not a very good sport because after the first bowl he got caught out and then he started crying and wailing and stole the ball so no one else can have fun. <laughs> well, what you gonna do? We found another ball and kept playing. Am I married? No, no. No girlfriend? Yes. No wife? No wife. You have a wife? No. No? Not married? No wife. No wife, okay. Bye bye, bye bye. So, after a few questions about my love life, it was time to say goodbye and get back on the road. But as the day went on, I was getting sicker and sicker because the night before, I think I got food poisoning and things were not looking good. Mike, are you doing? 
I'm dying. I am literally dying. Diarrheaing all day and I'm dying on these healthy roads. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> Best friend. And my darling will help. <laughs> Push him over the edge. So we eventually made it to the hotel. I passed out for like 12 hours and woke up the next day. Okay, day three begins. Yesterday I was feeling so rough. I struggled hard going through the bumpy roads. I had food poisoning the night before I didn't sleep. And then I just like struggled through the whole day. So yesterday I got 12 hours sleep last night. Haven't eaten anything in like 24 hours, but feeling good. And ready to attack this next day, going up to 4,000 meters today. It's gonna get cold. But the mountains are finally here and it is super beautiful. We're out of the main busy cities. Let's go. So day three, a new day, 12 hours sleep in the bank. Let's attack this one head on. Here we go. As we get further and further north in Pakistan, you see the mountains get steeper and steeper. The Himalayas are quite outstanding. What did you get? Oh, you got bounties? So nice, he tried to give this to me for free. For free? Yeah, he's no, like, no, 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 no. I paid him, I paid him, but oh, he's wow. so nice here, it's insane. Pakistanis are so friendly, they often try to thank us for traveling to their country by not letting us pay for items. It's incredible hospitality. All right, we continued our way up the mountain to the top. Struggling up this mountain, maybe five, 10 kilometers an hour for, for literally hours. We made it up through the 4,000 meter pass. You can, it's freezing up here, you can see our breath. <sighs> no, you can't see my breath, Never mind. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And we've got some selfies coming in here. Selfies coming in hot. <laughs> Gotta love a good selfie. And after the picture session was over, we carried on to get some gas up at the pass. Quick gas stop up here. At 4,000 meters. <laughs> okay, wow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. As you can see to the left, there's plenty of snow up here. So we just got oh, coffee got up at... What's on there? Snow? I'm wrong. Cream. Oh, cream. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not bad. They frothed it up here. Let me show you the machine. Thank you for what? the coffee. Oh, look at this big coffee bar. It's even pressurized. Look at that. It's got pressure. So we'd successfully made it, had a coffee, and carried on our way back down, and then we got stopped by another Hello. police check. Hello. How are you? How are you? Okay, boss? Really good, really good. good. Thank you so much for having with us. We love Pakistan. Uh, please Thanks. take a picture. Of, uh, yeah, picture? Yeah. All right. Welcoming selfie. Welcome yeah. to the rickshaw. With the rickshaw. Uh, with the rickshaw. I love police stuff. Yeah, it's so so kind. It's insane. I can't believe the cops just told us to rip out of there fast. That's the best thing ever. So we were thoroughly enjoying our drive, checking out some of the local culture and accommodation, and then we noticed some kids selling eggs on the side of the road. Oh, can I buy one egg? How much? 20. Oh, 20, okay. 20? One. Is that okay? Eh, okay. Oh, it's not good. It was 50. It was 50. 50. <laughs> oh, yes, got the egg. Oh, it's still warm. So grand. Oh, that was epic. We bought a roadside egg. Roadside I don't care who you are, you gotta respect that hustle. Look at this bridge. What is this? It's broken. Broken right off. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> After you, Mark. No, you're not coming out with I'm me. I'm coming. Get lost. Go! So after a few regulation safety tests, I deemed the bridge perfectly fine and decided to cross. So far so good, nothing to worry about. Oh my gosh, it's so, he's so angled. Not letting go of this wire. Here's the bridge goes and I got the wire. Gosh. All right, maybe not the smartest thing I've ever done. However, it was pretty exhilarating. Whoa! <laughs> So 
So while we were enjoying this really beautiful drive, we forgot our gas tank was only five liters. We are coasting out of gas. Luckily, we're on a downhill. We ran out of fuel. Luckily, we ran out of the town. Everyone looking at us funny. Not only do we have a rickshaw in the middle of the mountains, but we're pushing it. Idiots. Wow, this is the gas station we we're looking for. Insane. Just two pumps in the middle of a dirt field. Oh, we went back and forth three or four times and we're like, where are these locals leading us? But eventually we found it. Back on the bumpy trail once again, topped up with gas. Bunda. So as we were passing through this little town, we noticed two kids on the side of the road hitchhiking. So we decided to give them a lift. School? They're going to school. School. They're going to school. I picked up some local niños on their way to school. And their school's in the middle of the mountains. It seemed they were feeling uncomfortable at first, but after a few Snapchat filters, everyone was having a grand old time, and we dropped them off at school. Right. See you. See you. See you, boys. Have fun at school. You behave, okay? Be nice to your teachers. Do you want Bye. 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 <sighs> That's a top moment. That's a top moment. I'm gonna miss you boys. Now, while this is probably illegal anywhere else in the world, it's perfectly normal in northern Pakistan. Guess what? We ran out of gas. Again. How is it possible, Ricardo? Two times two times in one day. We're the worst humans. So we've got some help here. And they're gonna fill us up. So we finally made it to Hunza. This is one of the more popular areas for tourism in Pakistan. And we have this footbridge behind us, which is actually so sketchy, we just went on it. <laughs> you could really legit fall through or drop anything through, so. We thought it was just gonna be a normal footbridge and with a nice view, but it was way better than we expected. So much fun. Joy will happen. We ran out of gas for the third time in one day. <laughs> oh, the worst people. Oh my gosh, you're idiots. Such idiots. So this time we were luckily not too far away from our final destination, so we got a foot push and we Three eventually minutes. made it to the gas station. What a day for us and gasoline. What a day. We then retired in a little town called Sost and got ready for our big next day, the drive to the Chinese border. So I hope you've been enjoying the video so far and I just want to take a quick break to tell you that this video is sponsored by a company that I'm currently using called Coho. Coho is a no fee spending and savings account for Canadians. As a full-time traveler, I pay a lot of fees when it comes to withdrawing and exchanging money. Whether it's ATM fees or checking accounts, I end up spending a lot. Regular Coho accounts get 0.5% cash back on every purchase and up to 6% cash back with the cashback partners, for example, booking.com, which I use all the time when booking accommodation. Coho premium account users get 2% cash back on three main categories, groceries, eating and drinking, and transportation, and not just in Canada. With Coho, you can earn 1.2% interest on your entire account. That's much better than the 0.3% I'm getting with my bank right now. Coho premium accounts also have no foreign exchange fees, and you also get one free international ATM withdrawal per month. Coho basically has no hidden fees or anything else sneaky that's gonna try and take your money. It's full transparency. If you're interested, the link is down in the description below. Click on it, check it out, and start making the most of your money today. All right, thank you Coho for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the video we have the Chinese border to get to. Today is the final push of our trip. We're going up to Kundarab Pass, which is 4,600 meters. This is day six, and we've just been plowing to get here. The views have been so beautiful all along the way. It's been absolutely stunning. One of the best drives of my entire life. This road has been insane. But today we go up to the high point, to the border of China. Oh, and also, we are here at a gas station. We filled up a water bottle. We're not gonna make that mistake again today. We're gonna be gas responsible. <laughs> Let's come to the journey. Here we are blasting our tuk-tuk uphill this entire way to get to the Chinese border. 
And although our tuk-tuks really struggled to get up these hills, it was some super stunning scenery. We made it to Kundarab Pass. Wow. And now we're 4,600 meters. And right there, what you see behind me, that's the Chinese border. We go to China. Hey, George, do you want to go quarantine for two weeks? If do you we want to go over that line, we quarantine for two <laughs> you weeks. You want to go quarantine for two weeks in China? Mm, definitely Woo! not. Okay, well, we'll just stay here then in Pakistan. And we found a, the world's highest ATM in Pakistan. <laughs> Look at the sign. It's, too, it's the world's highest ATM. In, in Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Our tuk tuks are like bro magnets. Kilometers. Bro magnets. Wow. Yeah. Everybody wants selfies the in these things. The interviews continue. Interviews everywhere. Alright, we've been at the top now for like 20 30 minutes and I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded as we're almost at 5,000 meters. But cool to experience it up here. Now, time to head back to the town of Sost. Let's go. So this road is called the Karakoram Highway and is one of the most beautiful and highest altitude roads in the world. Descending it. Oh! It's alive! Oh! oh sheesh! <laughs> Oh no, I broke her. What? Wow! Yeah! Alright, we're on the home stretch now of this Tuk Tuk Mayhem. Country number 73 on the road to 100. Hope you enjoyed it. Outro time. Alright, that officially wraps up our eight day Tuk Tuk adventure here in Pakistan. We drove over 1,000 kilometers in these rickshaws. It was unbelievable. I can't quite express how much fun I had doing this. It was so adventurous. We had complete freedom to do whatever we wanted. And meeting the locals along the way was definitely a highlight of the experience. They were so friendly and so kind. Everyone wanted to say hi. They kept offering us free tea and food. It was really quite amazing. Not to mention the peaks we're driving through on the Katakaram Highway. Driving through multiple 7,000 meter peaks all throughout the, the way is truly an amazing journey all along the way. To the river, driving up to the Chinese border. It was unbelievable. If this is something you want to do, the company is called Large Minority, who we booked with. They set up everything, the hotels, the rickshaw, uh, a support vehicle to it when you break down. Absolutely recommend it. It was so much fun. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.